Yeah, so we're supposed to do some green episode. You know, ethanol, hydrogen, biofuel, hybrids, all those green cars. We like to have our own fun, and for the most part, they're really not that exciting yet. So today, forget the Toyota Priuses and Chevy Volts of the world, sit down with a quart of oil, and let's guzzle some gas. I'm having a bad hair day, but you are watching Fastlane Daily, the fuel inefficient edition. If guzzling your gas and having a hell of a lot of fun while doing it is your cup of tea, Lamborghini has your machine. The base model Murcielago, not even in crazy LP640 form, gets a whopping 10 miles per gallon. And that's with the manual tranny. Granted, it doesn't get much worse with the auto, you only lose one mile per gallon to bring you into the single digits. The Murcielago is so good at sucking down dead dinos that it tops the list for least fuel efficient two-seater. But damn, you'll be having fun depleting resources. Not everyone drives a Murcielago though. Take for example Southern California. 74% of the male population drives a Hummer H2, and their second and third wives drive H3s. Yes, I just made that up. You would think that because of the H3's small size, it would be kinder to Mother Earth than its big brother. Think again. The baby Hummer gets a paltry 16 miles per gallon out of its 23 gallon tank. Doesn't sound too bad. Well, that's with the six cylinder engine. Most other utes the size of the H3 using six bangers usually get around 20 miles per gallon at least. And because of its weight, the H2 doesn't even get rated by the EPA for fuel economy. Car and Driver magazine has reported a whopping, count them, nine miles per gallon. But hey, those three tons of truck can move you and your small blonde wife across Death Valley or to the local Neiman Marcus. Speaking of the Neiman Marcus parking lot, I bet you'll see plenty of the Mercedes-Benz R-Class Sport Ute wagon crossover thing whether or not you think it looks like a hearse, it will be death to your credit card once you see the gas bill. We're talking a nice 12 to 50 miles per gallon out of this thing. Get the diesel engine? Oh, how environmental of you. You and your three extra miles to the gallon? At least it seems that maybe it was for the better that the V8 R500 was killed off. Although we will always mourn the loss of a Mercedes AMG vehicle, even if it was the R63. Talk about getting the kids to soccer practice on time. Up next, an all-American favorite and a whole model lineup make our list. That's right after this. It will help change people's lives. Are you bringing any weapons? Of course not. You're not changing anything. Rambo. Rated R. In theaters January 25th. Have a favorite gas guzzler? Think we left one out? Leave us a comment and let us know here. What's America's third favorite pickup truck and gets single digit mileage? That would be the Dodge Ram, of course. What's that, you say? Oh, it's a workhorse and those big trucks aren't expected to get decent mileage. Yeah, decent. But the big brute Ram only returns a healthy nine miles to the gallon in town. And that's without four wheel drive. So you'll get it with a diesel engine, lots of torque for towing, better MPGs. That is if by better, you mean about 14. And finally, what automaker on sale in the U.S. today wins award for the least fuel efficient lineup? The nominees are Bentley for the 12 mile per gallon Continental Flying Spur, Bentley for the 11 mile per gallon Azure, and Bentley for the 10 mile per gallon Arnage. And the winner is Bentley. Who's the only car that doesn't make it onto the most guzzling list by managing to pull off an environmentally friendly 13 miles per gallon? It's as if for every cow hide they've put in their car, they've got one mile per gallon. Well, that wraps up Fastlane Daily for today. Tune in next week when we try to get my cobalt to burn through a tank of gas in 15 minutes like a Bugatti Veyron. Stop making fun of my cobalt. <laughs>